What's going on everybody? I want to thank y'all for tuning in for our first series of the Kids Art Club. Today we're going to be drawing a, a dog. This particular dog's found a, found a bone and now he's got it in his mouth. Uh, so let's begin. Just grab your pencil or marker, whatever you're going to be drawing with. You want to start by drawing an oval. Uh, just take your time. It doesn't have to be perfect, but once you get your first oval, you want to draw a second oval right in the small, the middle of it. Now, on the opposite side, draw the exact same oval and draw another oval inside of it. Once you got your eyes drawn, you want to draw the top of his head. You just want to do this somewhat above his eyes. It doesn't matter exactly where. Once you get the head drawn, you want to go to the ears. Now, my particular dog is going to have floppy, big floppy ears. But if you want pointy ears, then go ahead and do that yourself. We can all make our own dog at this point. Once you get your right ear drawn, just go ahead and bring the face down a little bit from the, from the ear. And then next, draw the mouth. The mouth is done by just two little almost half circles, if you will. Now go back to the head and start on your second ear. Don't worry about getting, getting these ears matching just right because uh, almost at any angle and any time that you won't see the exact same thing on either side. But once again he's got another floppy ear on the left side of his face. I want to bring the ear all the way up and now I'm just going to connect the left side to the mouth. And once I got the head drawn I'm going to get started on the bone. I just want to draw two half circles again on both sides of the head. Once I get these drawn, I want to just put a line right in the middle, and that's our bone. And now next, I want to draw his, his two little, little legs coming down from the bone. I'm going to draw these, just a little bit of half circles on the very bottom, just to portray his little, his little paws. Now once I get the, the, the two front legs done, I want to come up somewhere around halfway of the bone. It doesn't have to be anywhere exact, but I want to start to to come down and draw to his tail. Now my dog's going to have a little short tail. If you want to put a bigger tail on your dog, then go ahead. If you want no tail at all, he doesn't necessarily have to have one. Now, once you start to bring the tail towards the feet, just go ahead and draw his back paw. This is going to be the, the third and on last leg you're going to see in this drawing itself. One little curved line all the way down to finish him up. And last but not least, you'll draw you a little nose. I'm going to draw them almost like a rectangle. You can draw any shape you want, any size you want. Now once you get this done, we're going to go ahead and start to shade in both the, the eyes and the nose. I'm just going to draw two little reflection spots. That's for if the sun was hitting it, it wouldn't be completely blacked out. Now just take your time and start to color in the eyes. There's no need to rush here. If, I, if you're getting behind, then just pause the video and get to where you are and then start it again. Now we're going to shade in the nose. Just once again taking your time and I'm leaving a little bitty reflection area. This is just to, to, to keep the nose from being completely blacked out. Now we got our dog, our dog drawn. We want to go ahead and start coloring if you so choose to. I'm going to speed this up a little bit just so y'all aren't here watching this all day. I chose a, a brown to, ch to color my dog. You color him any color you want. He can be black, blue, purple, anything you'd like. And uh, just first I want to go around the whole thing and do an outline. That way I don't color through the lines. That, that really affects a color, uh, your, your paint, your drawing whenever you have colored through the lines. Once I get my dog colored, I decide to color the bone. I now I chose a blue just because blue is my favorite color. Maybe you want to choose your favorite color and draw the bone, color the bone itself. But now we got our little dog done. He's a cute dog. Uh, I, th I think he's happy with that bone in his mouth there. But I want to thank you all for for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed, and I, I'd love to see your outcomes. You can send them to me if you would like. My email will be posted in the link below. But uh, thank you all for watching and I hope for us to be able to continue to draw here in the future. And make sure you all comment on the bottom and uh, let me know what you'd like to see next and we'll be sure to draw those together. 
Um, if you like what you saw, maybe consider liking and subscribing so we can continue this adventure on together. Until then, I hope you all have a great day.